This is a rescue that has the greatest story to it because she was rescued, she was rehabilitated, and she was returned back out to its natural environment. And none of this could have been done without the use of the U.S. Coast Guard, Joshua Appleby, SeaWorld Florida Rescue Team, University of Florida Rescue Team, Moat Marine, um, Clearwater Marine Aquarium, and also Florida Fish and Wildlife in NOAA. All these partners had to come together for one animal to care for this one animal and get her back out to her natural environment. You know, this release had a lot of different moving parts to it. And one of the most unique parts about a pilot whale is it's a pelagic animal. I can't just take her to the beach and release her off in shallow water. She needs to get into 500 meters of water. To do that, SeaWorld needed someone who has a boat big enough with a crane available to pick the animal up and to take us 148 miles offshore. That's a big vessel. The Joshua Appleby is exactly that vessel. This pilot whale was at SeaWorld for just over one month undergoing rehabilitation. Uh, one of the things that we see when these animals strand is that they'll have a lot of injuries to their muscles. They'll be really inflammatory. So we provided her with uh, anti-inflammatories and antibiotics to help her get over the infection. And we also did what, get a, got her on a positive energy balance. That means that we fed her and, uh, and grew up her strength so that she, she could swim and dive and meet all the demands that she would face in her natural environment. This was an incredible experience uh, for, for our team. and. Uh, and just a great success story in the fact that this whale was doomed to die on the beach and, uh, and we were able to give her a second chance at life. It was really incredible to, to watch her as, as she started to feel better, uh, to start swimming more and start swimming more strongly to where she was diving down and picking up food off the bottom. And from going from no appetite to a really hearty, healthy appetite uh, where she would chase down uh, up to 34 pounds of squid and, and put on some weight. Uh, so it was just really incredible to, to watch her grow and get healthy. And then this was uh, the icing on the cake, was to watch her swim off in the ocean uh, looking really strong. And now we have a satellite tag on her and we get to track her and, and, and see how she's doing and where she's going. This was the first time that the Cutter Josh Wild Bee has ever uh, released any type of um, living creature <laughs> um, back into the wild. So that was exciting for all of us. And, and myself, having 15 years in, and most of the other crew, we're all pretty seasoned. Um, we have never participated in anything like this. We've always heard of other units doing it, but we've never directly been uh, part of it. So we feel very fortunate um, to be able to be a part of this. And we're looking forward to you know keeping tabs on Gale the Whale. And Thank you. 